are an embodied reflection of Source. You are thus infinitely empowered, abundant, and a co-creator with your context always. You are an alchemist. Divination works because the web of life is intelligently organized with coordinated and storied agency. Let's take a look at the stories playing out now. Hello beauties. So here we are at June 2016 and uh, there's two things that I want to talk about that are the um, under stories, the macro cycle uh, storylines that are affecting all of us at this time. The first, as always, I'm going to tune into the Sabian symbol that's keyed in at the 14 degree Gemini new moon. So let's talk about that first. The symbol is two Dutch children talking to each other, exchanging their knowledge. Now, this is about connecting, it's about communicating, it's about creativity. But I would say beyond that, there's another story here, which is that these are two Dutch children. So we're talking about two individuals that speak a very distinct language and they resonate with one another. They understand each other. So what this month, what the understory is, the macro cycle symbol for all of us on a collective level is speaking to this month of June, from this June 4th to the J July 4th Gemini New Moon cycle, this is about uh, aligning to a new point catalyzing ourselves at a new place of inner resonance. And then I think post June and possibly even within the month of June, we are going to be at a new vibratory alignment and that will enable us to emit the frequency that is going to attract us to our tribe. Many people, many clients have been searching for their like-minded, like-hearted tribe forever now. It's been years for some people. And this is um, very good news, I think, for us. I think the fact that this is talking about speaking a very distinct language and communicating that language with each other is talking about energies are at play to align us to a point of inner truth so that we can, in fact, recognize those other members of our quote-unquote tribe. So this is good. The other thing that I'm literally just going to touch on because there's so much to talk about is the mutable grand cross. We also have a grand trine that's activated. At the point of both of those is Jupiter. Jupiter and the North Node is not too far off. It's only a few degrees off. So Jupiter, which is at 14 degrees Virgo, is at the point of both the Grand Cross and Grand Trine. So it's interesting that because this is talking about expansion into health, into healing, into wholeness. And there's more to say there too, but there's no accident why Jupiter is playing such a key role in these two magnificent and very intense, especially the Grand Mutable Cross. The mutable cross of Jupiter in Virgo and Neptune in Pisces, along with Saturn in Sag and the Sun, the Moon, and Venus, all in Gemini, this is major intertension, major reworking that's going on. And this is after so many of us have been through so much already. So there is an increased honing <laughs> of our tuning fork body mind system that's activated right now okay so um and of course it's a mutable grand cross so all of those signs that i just mentioned are mutable signs they're changing signs they're adaptable signs so what does that say this is about us becoming adaptable this whole chapter is about us letting go 
breaking free of the binds that are false and unsustainable and aligning with, going with the flow with the changes, the openings, the advancement, the growth edges that are calling. If you want to know how this mutable grand cross is affecting you distinctly, I have an offer on for me to create a personalized video for you tapping into your distinct soul print and what this month, because it's the entire month of June where we're activated, is birthing in you. So I invite you to um, click on the link below if you'd like to order that and connect with me. Okay, so let's move on. Hi everyone, welcome to your June 2016 Alchemy Scope. So let me explain what's here and what's going to happen today. So I have not been well physically and um, I this session today is going to be quick, down and dirty. We're going to just do a card spread. But the reason why I wanted to show you the Himalayan sea salt and the pebbles here and the Buddha board in the background, but mostly uh, the rocks and the um, salt, is that the intention for the scopes for June was to be half the board, half the divination table be um, this creation, be an artistic channeling, but instead of pencil to paper to be with the um, rocks and the stones and the salt. And a spread but today it's just going to be a spread. So this is going to come, this is definitely going to come in a future scope, probably July. I'm definitely going to do the channeled art drawing scopes as well. Okay, so I'm going to put this aside while we get prepared. And in the meantime, let's get the Buddha board going. And this is so fabulous. I found this recently at an art store. So today, this is going to be June 2016, and as you all probably know by now, this is a grand square month. So this is going to be uh, powerful, a lot of internal work, internal processing, a lot of compression and alignment that's going on, internal frictions in order to align you with the essence self that is calling to come, your truth in all ways, total integrity. So let's get started. Virgo, welcome. So let's take a look. Let's, I've already started to shuffle actually. So I'm gonna finish shuffling your uh, spread to tune into, just wanna take a look at the card, to tune into um, what is it? What event, circumstance, or situation is likely to be unfolding for the Virgo demographic on your evolutionary trajectory? This is, as always, this is a general reading, but we are tapping into the evolutionary trajectories playing out. It's part of the web of life. It's part of the evolutionary unfolding. It's part of the coordinated, coherent nature of living systems. So let's tap in. Virgo, 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 what situation, circumstance, or situation, circumstance, or event, actually that's already there, um, is likely to come forward for you in June 2016. Virgo. Virgo, 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 Virgo. Now, Virgo, of course, you're part of this mutable grand cross that's activated now um, for this month that we're going to experience on the new moon, and it's going to be really activated for a while. So um, what's happening? The home card's coming up again. That just came up for Scorpio. And the past card, interesting. You know, it's interesting. There might be some health stuff coming up for you, too, which wouldn't be surprising. You you being Virgo and and with um, Jupiter North Node, you know, transiting your sign at this time. So let's take a look. I mean, definitely Virgo for you. There's something 
courage is going to be calling you. There's going to be some powerful emotions coming up. There's an opportunity that's coming up. And it might be something from the past. That's what I'm getting. So this is what I'm getting. So you're going to be called. You're going to be activated, catalyzed to in invoke uh, courage within you. So there's something new, new opportunity that's on the horizon where you're going to have to, you know, meet your growth edge and actually maybe take a risk and go for it. But look at this. I mean, there's essentially there's a happy opportunity. There's something, there's an opportunity that's coming forward that is potentially going to bring great happiness, great joy, great bliss. So something new is emerging for, again, a portion of you out there. This is a general reading, but it might be that maybe a good portion of you out there have some new opportunity on the horizon. Something's emerging. Something's showing up. This came up in the feeling sector, Virgo, higher forces. And this really is talking about, I mean, certainly it's talking about having powerful feelings about it. But what I also get here is that there's some kind of spiritual um, connection to the offer or to the opportunity, to the thing that is showing up for you, meeting you this month. So there's almost like you might feel that there's some deeper meaning and deep resonance, let's say, spiritual resonance with what's showing up. Okay, so, I mean, again, the home card came up with, with Scorpio as well. You could be having thoughts. Now, the opportunity that's coming up could have to do with a relocation, could have to do with um, your home in general. It could be an upgrade, for example, to a home or some benefit that comes, some reward that comes that is, let's say, an upgrade to a home or, or a relocation. But there's some thoughts about the appreciation of either what you have in regards to where you live now or appreciation of something that you'd like to see come into being. You know, so there's an opportunity that could bring great joy and it could have to do with a new home, a new house, a new location, a new place that you're residing. And it also could have to do with a new addition with regards to your home. It doesn't necessarily look like a people addition, though. It also could be for some of you that this is appreciate, like you're looking it's almost like you're, you're imagining what would you like to see for yourself? Again, this is not too dissimilar from Scorp. So what would you like to see for yourself? And I have to tell you, this is the month of dreaming. This is the month of alignment so that we step into our participatory role and start creating our lives because we're not you know, we, we've been too disempowered for too long, right? So we're releasing the binds, we're freeing ourselves, and we're remembering our power, and we're moving forward, okay? So it could be that this is telling you that, indeed, over the course of June, you are going to naturally be thinking about what you'd like to see come to pass with regards to your home environment, the life that you'd like to live. I have the feeling that something from the past, some... Some, something that's nurtured you from the past, and it could be a home. It actually could be some place, maybe that was a temporary home for you. But there's some past nurturance, some, something from the past that was nurturing to you that felt really delicious, literally delicious, um, is the opportunity that comes back. So it's like there's a, there's a blissful opportunity that is from the past, that you already know that you really like, and in fact, you know that you appreciate it. You need courage to meet what's coming, but man, you're feeling really, really good about it, Virgo. Really good about it. So let's take a look at your Carolyn Mace archetype card, and we'll see what is the growth edge for you. Let's do a little heart for you. A little heart. Beauty. Okay. So, 
Virgo. What is the growth edge for you this month? What is it within you as the Virgo demographic that is asking to be matured? Okay. That was a clean cut. Look at this, alchemist. So, Virgo, this is saying uh, evolve any misuse of power and knowledge that comes through spiritual practice. So this is about the misuse, okay? So the shadow attribute is misuse of power and knowledge that has come through spiritual practice, and it's about evolving into the transformation of base motives and goals into golden wisdom. Beautiful. An amazing card to get. This is really about transformation into high alignment, high frequency alignment. Beautiful. Okay, Virgo. So let's move on and see what else we have for you. Hi, everyone. Your I Ching micro story, a general energetic theme that's playing out for your particular sign, is listed on the card that you're reading now as is your optimal goddess embodiment, the Dakini embodiment. Who are you to become to ride this June wave optimally? In order to save time this month, I'm just um, recording this once. And if you'd like, for those interested, because not everybody is, you are free to visit my website and go to the online library where you can find the information for both your I Ching and your Dakini for the month of June 2016. Have a great month. Bye-bye.